Cognac? It has not arrived, sir. All we have is sherry. Sherry? Fortunes of war. I believe Hauptmann Richter is arriving, sir. Yeah. Hauptmann Richter, Oberst Gersch. Leutnant Klunt, my aide. May we help you? Yes. Thank you, sir. Comfortable, Captain Richter? I'm glad to hear it. I don't want to break down a few obstacles. You can bet on it. Sight's a little bent, but I can hit a barn with it anyway. Good. You happy with your new toy, Robin Hood? When I was 12, I took first prize at Camp Mini Ha Ha. That's very reassuring. It's pretty crazy. It's not any crazier than trying to steal diamonds from Germans. Diamonds by a lot of tanks. Here. That's the HQ building. I go in at midnight after Tully has knocked out the generator. And if they're not on to Troy by then, you should lead me straight to the diamonds. 
Just remember, you're only going to have a few minutes before they turn on their auxiliary power. Might be a little late to bring this up, but wouldn't it be easy to shoot our way in? No. Too many guards. But when the building goes dark, we may have a chance of pulling it off, if we can operate in the dark. If anyone can operate in the dark, it's Troy. prepared in a moment, Hauptmann Thank you, sir. Please, forgive the inconvenience. You can understand the problem of getting help in this place. That's quite all right, sir. You know, for a moment I found it quite odd that intelligence should select a man in your condition as a courier. Yes, so did I. But they must feel confident that a man in my position has nowhere else to go but home. Uh, yeah. Yes, I should hope so. <laughs> Your hearing is finely tuned, I see. Yes, sir. That happens. You have directly in front of you one of the richest caches of diamonds in the world. I confiscated these gems from their original owners. So this is what I am to take to Berlin? Yes. These will bring the general staff two or three million marks and help to finance this miserable desert campaign. I would imagine the general staff will be very grateful, Herr Oberst. Oh, no. <laughs> No, it is not one of the best kept secrets of the war that I was sent here because of an indiscretion. Unfortunately, the lady was married to a member of the general staff. <laughs> and now you will return to Berlin? Yes. The lady in question has since found another, I'm told. These gems are my ticket home. Think of nothing else, only leaving this film. Come in. Hauptmann Richter's room is ready, sir. Ah. Hauptmann Richter. The hospital ship leaves on Wednesday. Please restrict yourself to your quarters until that time. Let us know if there is anything you need. Thank you, sir. so long? I've been trying to call through to the field hospital. The line is dead, sir. Send a man to the hospital in the morning and confirm his papers. It's not bad, you know. Using Hauptmann Richter as a courier is rather a clever idea. <laughs> I'm almost surprised that our people came up with it. I seem to have triggered your alarm system. Take Hauptmann Richter back to his room. I no disrespect, Herr Oberst. But what happens to your electric eye if the electricity is shut off? Nothing. There is no electric eye. You stepped on a magnetic strip. So you see, even if the electricity is shut off, 
we still have a very effective security system. Until dinner, sir. It'll take them to put the pieces together. Excuse me, Hauptmann Richter. My hearing must be failing, Herr Oberst. I did not hear you knock. I did not want to disturb you if you are resting. I was just going to change my bandage. Please go right ahead. been a most unusual automobile accident. The driver was killed by a sharp metal bolt lodged between the shoulder blades. That is unusual. Yes, and even more unusual. This bracelet was taken from the body of the driver, identifying him as Hauptmann Richter. <laughs> Read the inscription carefully and you will note that the bracelet is not Richter's. It's mine. And there was no identification on the body of the driver, of course. Yeah. Of course. 
course. Oh, don't feel too badly. Your performance was excellent. But there's one thing that puzzles me. Why did you pose as blind? Any signal from Troy? Not yet. What are you going to do? It's got another five minutes. And I'm going in. Signal or not. Suppose I should question him again. Can you hear me? I said, can you hear me? All right. Now we try it again. I want you to tell me exactly how you... Of course. You want me to go on? No. We'll turn him over to the Gestapo. Come in. The radio, Albert. No. You stay here with him. You come with me. I want every available man on duty tonight. No answer from the generator station, sir. Send someone over to turn on the auxiliary power. Go on, go on. Enemy. 
Hang on to me and watch your step. They have an alarm system. C3. Can't go far in the dark, sir. Of course, the dark. That's why he posed as blind. The darkness won't stop him, and now he's got my gun. trust me. No. Oh, that I don't trust you. All right, let's go. 